Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Today I would like to show you how to add a new password to your password file. To do so, we click the Add button here and if you click the lower half, you will also be able to select from some other entry types like credit card, software license and so on. But today we would like to create a password entry. First of all, we need to enter a description for our password and then, of course, a username. The password itself will be entered here and you can use this button on the right side to show or hide your password. To create a really secure password, we can use the password generator which will create some random data. So we click it and then move the mouse over the part below and then can have a look at our password. So this password is nearly uncrackable. We confirm our new password with OK and as you can see the quality of this password is really outstanding. We can also choose an importance for our category, yeah, for our password, and a category, as well as an expiry date if we want. The field URL file is there to enter some web address, for example, and then we can also add some additional information into the comments fields. To assign an icon to this password entry, we click this option here and choose, for example, load from URL, which will load the standard icon from the URL I just entered, which would in this case be the ASBIT icon. There are some other tabs on the new entry dialog. For example, on the additional tab, you can choose a preferred browser for this password in which it will then be opened. The custom fields tab allows you to enter some additional values for this password if for example the login contains some other data like a number which is needed to log in. So we click the add button here chose a name for the new field, for example account name ID and then enter the according value. If this option is checked this custom field will also be visible in the top bar and you can use it from there to fill in the according login field. On the TANS tab you can add some TANS for online banking and on the attachments tab some attachment that means a file which belongs to this password entry so some kind of document for example. The history tab will later show you all the changes which you made to this password so that you can in case you lost your recent password, just see the password which you used before. Once we are finished with all the tabs, we can just click OK to confirm our new password and then it will be added to our password. 